Hey guys, Project Zodiac here, I'm back with another video, and this is something I'm very very excited for, and as you guys can see, it's gonna be another unboxing, but I also want to give my overall thoughts, kind of like a mini review on this particular product as well. Um, but before we get into this, I just wanted to say a quick disclaimer, I'm actually still pretty sick, so I'm sorry if my voice is a little bit weird, I'm sorry if I sneeze or if I cough, um, I'm also pretty lightheaded and dizzy right now, but uh, yeah, so there might be some points where I might just like pause the video and if those are at random points I do apologize again I'll do the best I can right now um, but the reason why I'm doing this now rather than later on is because this is definitely something I've been waiting on for a long long time and it's something I'm very excited for so let's just go straight into this as you guys can see this is the Kiwi Design RGB vertical stand and this is a charging dock basically for the MetaQuest 3 but it's also one for the MetaQuest 2 and the MetaQuest Pro. And we will definitely be comparing this with the original one for Kiwi Design, the, the original charging dock that they had uh, for the Quest 2, because I have a lot to say about this. I've already unboxed this in my big Quest 2 unboxing, so definitely check that out. Uh, the link for that will be in the description below. Um, but yeah, this is something I've been waiting for for a very long time. Um, and if you guys saw my unboxing for the Quest 3 and my unboxing review for the Kiwi Design Quest 3 Comfort head strap and knuckle grips, uh, those two videos, the links for them are going to be in the description as well. Uh, you would see that I had been really hoping that Kiwi Design would make an adapter for the charging dock for the Quest 2 so that you can use your Quest 3 with it. Because in the Kiwi Design Comfort head strap uh, video, I do talk about how they did release a adapter uh, so that you can just replace this particular part for your Kiwi Design Comfort Head Strap for the Quest 2 so that way you can replace this part for that one without having to buy a whole new heads headset or not headset sorry um, head strap but if you d didn't have a, a head strap then you could just buy the entire head strap which is pretty cool as well so because they released this adapter i had always been hoping that they would release an adapter for the quest 2 dock unfortunately it doesn't seem like they are because this is the only thing that's been announced whereas when the head strap was announced they also did announce um the adapters as well so they had announced two products there, well, technically three if you count the charging um, head strap. Um, so yeah, they announced those three at the same time, whereas with this, they only announced this. They did not announce any uh, adapter for the Quest 2 dock. And again, we will compare this with that pretty soon. But let's just go straight into this. As you can see, this is a vertical stand. And then we have this new logo here, which is made for Meta. RGB vertical stand, and again on the back. So, we've got a Quest 2 charging over here. And it's really interesting how this particular mechanic works, considering the fact that over here, as you can see, it's pretty tall, um, the charging um, stick, basically. So, we'll be looking into that because I'm really curious about that. Then we've got the two different configurations you can have for a Quest 2 or a Quest 3 or, well, I think they should have put a Quest Pro here just so you could see as well, but it's not a big deal. And then we've got these, um, they look like cup holders, but they're for the controllers and then everything that is included. So I do love overall that the packaging still fits the entire aesthetic of the Quest 2 or, and the Quest 3 as well. And it's just overall pretty cool, um, you know, that now they are definitely partnering, it seems like, with Meta to be making these kind of, like, official products rather than a third party. Um, so, yeah, let's just slide this off. Um, I guess there's a tape over here. So let's just remove that. Okay, does not look like there's... All right, there, there's one down here as well. Right. So again, I'm very excited for this because these are, this and the head strap is something I think everyone should definitely get. Um, but yeah, I'm just so excited for this 
but real quick the back of the boxes are just pretty empty just regular cardboard nothing fancy just the cool kiwi design logo over there again i love their products um they, they make such good items all right up here we got sorry about that we got some instructions or not instructions but um items that are included so that's pretty cool it's interesting that they're still using the quest 2 as a um image here rather than the three so all right uh, okay make things better okay nothing else over there and yeah uh, i really like this the presentation is definitely very similar to the quest in general which is pretty nice um and it looks really sleek so let's take a look at this bottom part here okay i guess not all right let's take a look at the box first so we got this little box and inside of this box we got oh okay this is a lot smaller than i was thinking it was gonna be like yeah this is the entire size of this i was expecting this to be like up to here so yeah this is very very small uh looks like we got some buttons over here to modify the rgb and, <clears throat> and then we also got these here for the controllers now it's pretty interesting I, I would have thought that this would have opened up but i guess it doesn't and i was also expecting this to stick out a little bit but um like for you to move this forward a little bit but it doesn't seem like you can so we'll set this aside and then obviously over here we got the RGB strip all right and then we've got one part over here and another one over here so it definitely comes split up into four parts or five parts okay this is pretty heavy um, a lot heavier in fact i forgot to mention the box itself is also pretty heavy and then got just foil there all right and then the last part all right so this part here we got kiwi design over here um and yeah this does not seem like it moves at all so that'll, that's interesting also, where is the... Oh, okay. Alright, so we got... How many parts is it now? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six parts. Because this is inside of the box. And the instructions are also in here. But yeah, let's just um, build this up. It should be pretty easy and pretty self-explanatory in building this. So, obviously, this is going to slide in here. I think that's it. Yeah, it wiggles in a little bit. It's pretty tall. Now, the part where I'm confused on is this one. Looks like the headset's supposed to be resting here. No, I think it's going to be resting over here. So let me pause the video real quick and figure this out. I'll be right back. All right, so figure it out. First, we gotta slide this in here. These white parts connect over here, but let's remove this first. Uh, it's pretty stuck on. Okay, there we go. This is very soft. Um, it's really nice, this particular texture. It's almost spongy in a way, but it's not at the same time. So we just connect this over here like that. All right, now that's fully in. Then we get this particular part right here. Slide that on the top. So this is what's gonna be the backrest for your um, head strap. And then this particular part over here is optional, basically. 
and it will allow you to add some accessories to it as well like some earphones or um, anything else that you might have that's related to your quest and then this basically slides in right inside these grooves here yep just like that and then it snaps on so this particular part is optional um so it's not bad but again i'm a little bit disappointed that these don't stick out let's just put on my quest 3 so it kind of okay so i guess this bottom part is not optional um so it seems like this here is for the accessories this um sorry this particular top part here you could put some headphones on or a couple other accessories there's a little bit of a room down here as well at least the way that my headset works with it um it's very faint honestly you can barely see that um so yeah there isn't too much room over there you got a little bit here but it's not gonna be used for accessories um really it's this top part that will but yeah so overall this is how this looks it looks pretty cool we got the strip over here and obviously we can stick these out i do like though that these do come in like that so that you know makes it more easy to hide and keep things clean but let's take a look at it with the uh, controllers because basically this was supposed to be like cups you're just supposed to plop them in like a cup holder basically and okay so they do work with kiwi designs knuckle grips which is pretty nice again you can't really do too much with this uh, by putting it in inwards i think this is basically to the extent that you can get that let me also just um remove one of these so we can see how it looks without it all right so let's take a look over here so yeah, this falls in a lot smoother but again you can only really get this in like this so you can't get it in all the way unfortunately but it still looks pretty cool if you're gonna keep it open it kind of looks futuristic in this way um so that's pretty nice and of course this here is gonna be lighting up when it's charging let's just um take these out real quick because there's one more piece we are forgetting so yeah th this one does require a little bit more of a struggle to pull out with the knuckle gri grips but at least they work in um the top part of it over here is also pretty soft so it shouldn't damage your controllers at all um, they are also pretty rough um, they can also go in a little bit more than needed but you don't need to push them all push them in all the way so i like that this over here is doing a pretty good job at balancing it because the front of the stand is pretty straightforward so it's not like it's tossing the head strap backwards with the um, Kiwi Design Comfort Head Strap. And then the last thing here that we got to look at is, of course, the charging cable. So this is... I have no idea how I feel about this. This is very sticky. I really and rubbery I, I just really do not like this texture at all um so yeah that's definitely interesting this part is the part that's going to be connecting it is charged via magnets so this here's the bottom what you're going to do is attach it right over here on the side and then bring this forward a little bit this part in particular you just slide it in to the charging port and then there you go it will now be charging well not right now because it's not plugged in um so that's interesting now they say that it, it can be used for the quest 2 which the quest 2 obviously is a lot lower so what they want you to basically do is get this and it seems like you can lower it 
I'm not. Is it supposed to stick together? I guess it will be here by friction. I don't have my quest 2 anymore. Um, but I can imagine it will be here by friction. Yeah. So that's what it seems like they're going with. I don't know how I feel about this. Um, yeah, this this material I don't really like at all. I think they could have done something a little bit different. But before we go and put this down on, let's just quickly compare it with um, the Quest 2 dock. And I'll be showing a video pretty soon of how the Quest 3 looked on it. I'm going to be honest, I still do prefer this. The RGB here is a lot bigger and, you know, it reflects on the bottom of the table that you are in. So it, you know, if you have like a glass thingy on the, under it, it's definitely going to project that, reflect that a lot more. And I just love how alien it looks. It, the slab design for it is just so cool and I just love it. Um, it's also not that heavy. It's pretty cool. Very minimalistic. I just I just love this dock so much. So one downside for this particular dock here, the Quest 3 one, is that it does not charge your controllers. For the Quest 2 dock, as you can see over here, there's a little peg over there. And basically you would replace the battery strap and put in the battery that's included with it. It's a rechargeable battery, close it. And then you will rest it and just like with the magnets, it charges via magnets. And I love that. I thought that that was pretty cool. Now, obviously putting in this to rest here, it works, but you can't use it that same cover because it's different. Um, and I was always a little bit worried resting this here, mostly because of the metal rubbing here in the plastic until I got the knuckle grips, which obviously protect that so I, I don't have that fear anymore so yeah this was fantastic because it also charged your controllers now one issue that I had is this particular wire is so short this is basically as high as it goes which means it won't cover it won't go up to the quest 3 because again it's not that high um, so what I have been doing while I was waiting, and I do talk about this in my Quest 3 unboxing, so definitely check that out. This is the, the charging port for the um, Quest 2. It's basically the same as the one for the Quest 3 charging dock, except that this time it's uh, black instead of white. Um, it also feels like this particular section of the USB-C is a little bit longer. Is it? I don't know. No, I think they're about the same. Um, I'm talking about the exposed metal part, but yeah. So this worked the same exact way. The Quest 2 will be here and then, you know, once you put your Quest 2, it just starts to charge. Um, so what I ended up doing is I bought this off of Amazon. It's pretty cheap. Um, probably should have gone maybe a little bit longer of one or a little bit more bendable, uh, but it does work. And basically this is a USB-C to USB-C. So what I would do is I would connect this particular part into my headset like that. And then with this, I would connect the little magnet piece and then move the wire around in a, in a way so that then it connects properly over here. Obviously it will be moving down a little bit because of the weight. That's why I would need to like really play around with this, which is the annoying part, but this works. Um, and it charges my Quest 3, haven't had any issues with it, but again, I really wanted an adapter for this. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like we are getting that. We got this. I'm not complaining too much. It being a stand, I'm not a big fan of, but we will see how it looks um, in a second. I really don't like how flimsy this is, and the fact that it does not charge your controllers is also a bit upsetting. And also the big fact of this not um, 
having such a big RGB line. I think it would have been cool if they put it somewhere else. But let's see, let's plug this in. Um, so those, so that you are aware of where that goes. Also, these do have some pretty good rubber feet. It, there's basically just a, a plug over here. So let's plug that in. We'll see how it looks. I'll be right back. So this is real quick before I show it with the new one, how with the old dock it looked. Obviously it's a little bit messy because again, I have to work around that, but it does work. But yeah, I just wanted to show off the RGB effect over here. And I removed my photo album uh, wall thingy here, just that I have a little bit more room to show you guys exactly what I'm looking at. So, it works. It looks really cool. And of course, there are multiple mode changes that you can do with this. Um, I believe like that's a, a different one right there. So yeah, th there's a bunch of cool effects that you can do. I'm not going to go through everything here. But the point is, this was really, really cool. And I really liked it. Um, but yeah, that's basically how this is. And of course you can always just turn it off and then you can turn it on and it reset and it defaults exactly to the previous mode setting that you had it on. So this is how that looks overall. Of course, you've got that wire coming back here, so it can look a little bit messy, but just to remove this here just so you guys can see how it's supposed to look without like a modification this is basically how that's supposed to go so it's pretty clean pretty elegant you can always just hide these wires as well yeah overall i like it um but let's get the new one in the one that is supposed to be made for this, but is compatible with the other ones as well. So one big difference that you'll see right away is that this immediately tells you how far you can go. Um, and that's a good thing because with the slab, you know, you could position it as close as you wanted to the wall or as far as away as you wanted to. Um, it's not really that much of an inconvenience. I do wish, though, we could at least have a way to bend this down. Again, this is optional. I don't know if it's going to work too well without this, though. We'll definitely take a look and test it. Um, but it's definitely something that you got to keep in mind that it's already measured. So at least that way, you don't have to try to mess around. So it can be helpful in some ways. Again, don't really like how this is so flimsy. I do understand why it is though, because it is supposed to be compatible with the Quest 2 um, and the Quest Pro. Now, as I mentioned over here, oh, real quick, there's already some smudges here. I have no idea how quickly it got those smudges because literally it's, I've only had this for like 30 minutes now. Um, but as I said, there's some buttons down here this time, instead of one big button, that's one's a power and then the other one is just to be pressing. There's actually three. So one's the power button. And then there's two buttons over here, alternate. And that's how that's looking. And this is what I mean. I did like with the bottom one. So I do wish that there was um, LEDs here in the bottom. But yeah, it's... um. At least you can see the colors more, which a big issue unless you had like a a glass thing under under your your you know charging dock, you weren't gonna really be getting that effect. But over here you can see it a lot clearer. So let me um put the head strap on and we'll take a look. So this is the stand in its entirety basically. It's pretty cool, like I said, that we do get this um, to see it a lot more. Uh, I do wish there was a way to extend these out, like I mentioned multiple times. And at the same time, as I did mention about the back, yeah, you can't, because of the fact that, 
TV Designs Comfort Strap has that nudge sticking out, you're definitely going to have to move the stand forward a little bit. So, again, before it was touching the wall, now it's got to be a, a little bit of a distance away because of the little um, notch. But it's pretty simple once you've got that figured out. There you go. You just pop it in and it works. And it stays pretty well. So I do like that. I do think now though with the particular um, knuckle grips, it does make the, <coughs> sorry, the balance a little bit off. Um, but it works in, in terms of the colors. I mean, like it's all mostly black now instead of um, white and black being mixed together. Um, another thing that I wanted to talk about is these particular um, wrist straps. So what I did is if you don't want to, you know, have these dangling, there's a couple ways you can get around this. You know, obviously tucking it, tucking it in through the back a little bit. Um, but that's still going to be showing there. So what I did is I basically just lifted on this one. So basically I just lifted it up. Um, so yeah, it was dangling. I just lifted it up, brought it around and then just tucked it in. And then, yeah, it works. So th there are ways that you can make this look pretty clean and elegant, which I do like. Um, again, I do like that you get to see more of that light now, even though I do wish it was a little bit thicker. Um, it still looks pretty cool. I do wish it was a little bit shorter though, because I just think it's so tall right now, especially since I keep this next to my, um, photos, uh, which again, I took off so that I um, can move a little bit closer. Um, and because of that same factor, I do wish that these did, you know, you could position it to come off a little bit more. Um, but yeah, there's, um, before I forget, so just like with the other one, you can go through multiple modes. This is like a pulsating one. I'm not going to go through everything, but there's definitely a lot of colors. But what is pretty cool is with this one, you can go through a couple of colors and then there's this pulsating option as well for specific colors. But if you want to go back, you can, so you can press to go back rather than having to go through each one, one by one. Um, and another thing is there's a brightness level as well. I'm not going to play around with that, but I'll definitely show you this. So this is the manual. So yeah, you guys can read through that. You can pause that. So there's a couple of pulsating colors, a color chasing effect and a um, auto pulsing effect for all seven colors. So that's pretty cool. Um, again, you can change the brightness of this. I might do that, but I do like how bright it is right now. And I also do love, obviously, the easy factor of this always staying on the headset. And then whenever I just want to charge it, I just pop it in. I still really think that these should have been a little bit extendable just to make it as easy and convenient of putting the headset on. Uh, but overall, it's not too bad. Those are that's really just a nitpick. Really, without the the knuckle grips, they do slide in pretty easily. So I'm definitely nitpicking more than I should on that. Um, because again, yeah, with the, the the knuckle straps, it's a little hard to get them in there, but they do fit. Um, and to take them out, they're a little bit easier. But without the knuckle straps, they just go in so smoothly, as you guys saw earlier in the video. Um, I do also want to show one last thing, so I'll be right back. So as you can see over here, I'm using this to hold one of my earphones as it can rest comfortably over here and this is advertised for that as well. So let's just... And it stays charging. Oh, there you go. So pretty cool that you can put your headphones there. Um, honestly, I'm probably going to keep this here after all, uh, my, my headphones, because I use these a lot when I'm watching movies with the headset. Um, so it's just convenient that it's all right here. So again, this has a lot of benefits. I do really, really like this. I just think a couple of design choices would have been better. Like I said, making this a little bit bigger so you have more lights, making this a little bit easier to put it with the knuckle grips on. 
having this extend out as well. If you want to, you can definitely, um, sorry. You can definitely have it sticking out like that for a more um, streamline or more wide angle. But again, I keep my photos here. This probably won't be hitting it. Um, so I don't know if I'm going to keep it like this all the time or if I'm going to keep it the more uh, closed angle that I had it earlier. Definitely don't know yet. I'm going to have to play around with it. Um, and yeah, I just also wish there was a little bit lower and a couple lights here in the bottom. But overall, I do like it. I do think it's pretty cool. It is about, how much is it? $80. Um, yeah, it's $80 on the Kiwi Designs website and also on um, Amazon, but right now it's on sale for about uh, 60 so I bought, you know, the, the stand for $60. Um, so, overall, I think it works. Still not sure if I prefer it over the slab, but it has some extra features. Oh, right, and I would do wish it was charging the controllers as well, but it doesn't. But yeah. So this is a weird location for me to be ending the video. Let me know what you guys think. I do think it is worth it, especially for 80, because the original slab was 100, I believe. Um, so for 80, it looks cool. I do wish it looked a little bit more alien, but it still looks really, really cool. Um, even though it does look a little generic, but still looks really cool. I love it. Now I just gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with my slab uh, because that thing was just so cool. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about this. Um, and yeah, the links for this on Kiwi Designs website is gonna be in the description below. I also do have an affiliate link with Kiwi Design if you guys wanna save, I believe, five percent. Um, so my affiliate link is gonna be in the description below. Uh, this video is not sponsored by them at all. My head strap and knuckle grip unboxing review was. This is just something I'm very, very excited for. That's why I wanted to unbox it and talk about it. And yeah, so again, if you guys want to say about 5%, definitely go with my affiliate link below to buy this from their website. Um, right now it is on sale for $60. So definitely save you guys a little bit extra money there. But yeah, guys. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you have any questions regarding this, please let me know. I'll try to answer them as best as I can, again, so I'm kind of sick. But with all that said, rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later.